What's up, everybody? Today, I'm going to do another elephant in the room video. I'm fixing to say the quiet part out loud. Um, now, before I get into the video, let me throw a disclaimer out there um, because I am stepping out of the box on my normal uh, content. I normally try to stick with gaming content, but honestly, is it, this one kind of irks me. Th this one I actually feel like I got to speak up on. This is one of those things that just kind of like, out of all things, this is what you guys got to talk about. This is what's important in the media. So Will Smith has been trending. Um, and like I said, disclaimer, this is going to be a rated R video. But I'm on Twitter. Will Smith's trending. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe he's doing a new film, right? Yeah, maybe maybe him and maybe him and Chris Rock, you know, you know, something something new came of that, you know, maybe they're hanging out, maybe you know, the you know, hugged it out, made up, whatever, you know. But no, that's not what this was. No, 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 that's not what this was. So we got a supposedly best friend here. I, I'm gonna call bullshit on the best friend part. I, I'm gonna have to call bullshit on the best friend. See, best friends. They don't do what this guy's doing. Um, so this is a guy, an assistant, and apparently he's going on. I think her name is Tasha K or whatever the hell her name is. I don't watch her show. Um, probably not gonna watch her, to be entirely honest. After seeing this little clip, I I really wasn't impressed. Out of all the things that you would choose to interview somebody about, for me this is not something that would be like. The, the top priority, you know, this is this wouldn't even make it on a list. What am I talking about? This wouldn't even make it on a list. So we're gonna go through the video, and I'm gonna kind of do a few comments here and there. I'm gonna give my opinions. So whether you whether you agree with it, don't agree with it, you know, that's fine. You know, you don't have to agree with me. You know, nobody's obligated to agree with me, but I am gonna point out a few realities that I, I feel like need to be pointed out that I don't see too many people saying um, on one particular issue that kind of irks me and we're going to get to that so so let, let's let's just go on and roll the clip and get on with it. you looked at my Instagram mm -hmm. you see the hundreds of celebrities that I've done business with you know done things with and during the latter years of our relationship Will was not my friend I was his friend I was around before they had Trace like I said, you wasn't his friend. Otherwise, you would not be doing this interview. You certainly wouldn't be talking about his marriage, which I want to be clear. And this is one of the realities I need to point out to people. Yeah, I, I, I know people love watching celebrity gossip. But at the end of the day, that's all it is. Gossip. The reality is, whatever goes on in their marriage is pretty much their business. You know, unless one of them does something, you know, to make it the entire world's business, such as what Jada did. I'm not even going to get started on that. Uh, I think we all are pretty much in agreement that we don't care. The majority of us do not care. Whatever the hell Jada did or, or does in, in their marriage, we, we don't care. I mean... At some point, Will's going to have to deal with that on his own. He's going to have to figure out how he wants to deal with that situation. Um, because, like, in anything, you're only going to tolerate so much before you nut up. Jada was the woman that everybody wanted. And Will needed that validation to have that type of woman. You saw her say that Will Smith had a small dick? Oh, I am saying to you, if a woman is used to something the size of a baby leg and you come in with a pinky toe, there's nothing you can do to please her. You can buy her 80 cars, you can get her 80 private jets. If she's itching for that baby leg, she want that baby leg. You can... All right, so now this is the part that I find most particularly disturbing, and I'm actually surprised nobody is calling this bullshit out. But in 50 years, you know, half a century of my damn life, I ain't never heard no damn grown-ass man refer to someone's wee-wee as 
baby leg. If baby leg is what pops in your head when you're looking at a wee wee, something wrong with you. You need therapy. Something wrong with you if, if baby leg is what pops in your brain. Ain't nobody ever looked at a baby leg and thought, damn, that sure looked like a wee wee. Out of all things that, that, that you could have compared that shit to, that's what you come up with? Baby leg? I don't think so. No, 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 no. You need therapy, my bro. You need therapy. And honestly, you know, the FBI might need to be doing some checking on your ass beat a person so much that they fall into submission. And who needs enemies when they got friends like you? Oh, I could tell you what goes on. I know she ain't talking. She the one interviewing him. Who needs enemies when they got friends like you? Bitch, you interviewing him. You damn sure ain't his friend either. So don't, let's not act like we all know how, don't nobody's damn high horse. On the, on the inside, everybody else is just speculation. Damn. Somebody told me I made and my pictures in the book. You know, your, yeah, your pictures in the book and your name is in the book. So it's like you're doing some real elegant pimp. I'm blowing you up. I love that. I'm I blowing love that. you up. Dude, this is what Jada makes the new people. Exactly. He blew you up. He went to the top. He helped you get to the top. And this is how you repay him. This is how you thank him. I'm going to be honest. Fuck this dude. Fuck this dude across the board. That's how you repay your friend. Uh, supposedly, if if he if he ever was your friend, hell, bitch, you probably was never nothing but an employee. But even if you was friends, that's how you repay your friend for helping you out. I mean, cause you don't look like you're starving. I mean, you, you don't look like you went hungry. You know, hanging out with Bill. So, so it ain't like you was having a rough life. Yeah. Will should, Will ought to whoop that ass. I'm gonna be honest. Chris ain't the one that should have been smacked. This dude should have been the one being smacked. Do and I ain't gonna say no. They probably been there after myself, mm -hmm. right? They will make you check into a rehab. And they'll pay for the rehab. Even though you're not on drugs, they're going to pay for the rehab. And you have to go if you want to work with them. And then I saw sexual acts that I, one, I walked in on. Who'd you walk in on? Him and Dwayne Martin. Okay. Hollywood is the hurry up and, and, and wait game. So three minutes later after them telling me, hey, you got eyes on Will. You got, we, we, we need him to come watch this. So I'm running all over the, the, the studio. He's not in his dressing room. I go to the cafeteria. I'm like, well, but I see his car there. I'm like, where's this guy at? So now I'm holding Dwayne down too. So I have the keys to his dressing room. So I'm like, yo, and they're calling my, my they, I'm on walkie talkie and they're calling my cell phone. Yo, we need to get Will here. And I'm like, yo, kind of fucked down. Like I'm trying to find is like, this is, this is unlike him, right? So all right, I open the um, door to Dwayne's dressing room and that's when I see Dwayne and having anal sex with Will. Let me process that for a second. What do you need to process? I say this is what this this is what don't make no sense. You need to process what? First off, that's hearsay. We don't know if that's true or not. And even if it was, so what? What what you need to process this for? It ain't your damn business. Will is not your husband. Hell if anybody got anything to say about it, it'd be Jada. And let's be honest, we all know she don't got a damn leg to stand on either. So I mean, it is what it is. There was a couch and um, Will was bent over on the couch and Dwayne was standing up, killing him. Murder, like murder. It was murder in there. Okay, what did you do? The fuck the matter or whatever. I mean, you over there. Uh, uh, okay. Again. 
not your husband. I hate watching shit like this, man, because it, it, it's it's like they act like they so impacted and, and, and traumatized. So Will was getting an enema. Big fucking deal. Maybe he was constipated that day. Maybe Dwayne was helping him out. You know, you don't know. I mean, you know, it could be any number of things. Even when I was with the deer in the headlights, and I finally said, oh, shit. You looked at my ass. He said, oh, shit. But the question is, you didn't walk out the room. That's the real question. Why you didn't walk out the room, homie? You stood there long enough to watch him getting plowed and give that big of a damn description. I'm going to tell y'all something, man. Anytime I ever walk on, on anybody doing some really weird shit or doing the hibbity-dibbity or it was something I didn't want to see, it took half a second for me to oh shit my ass out the door. I didn't stay long. I don't even remember what I saw. I didn't even try to identify. And if I had been working for Will, I, I would I would have told Will Will straight up. You know? If if Will had came talking to me after the fact, and he'd be like, uh uh I don't wanna hear it, Will. I don't, I don't wanna fucking hear it. One thing I need you to do is slacky thing me. You understand? That, that we ain't even having a discussion. All you need to do is flashy thing me and the fact that will matter of fact we're gonna leave this up the fact that will smith is trending on twitter and the thing that everybody is talking about is what's up will smith's butthole it's disturbing y'all I, I ain't gonna i ain't gonna cut that any other which way Will Smith's butthole is trending on Twitter, and, and that's what this lady chooses to sit here and have an interview about. His wee wee that Mr. Baby Leg is comparing it to Baby Leg. Yeah, I'm like, is this what the world come to? We we got we got to worry about what's up, Will Smith's ass. That's that that's what we talk about now. I mean, I shouldn't even have to be, like, doing a video and, and, and explain so, so many ways that this shit is all wrong. Like, I mean, seriously, people. Like, I want to know what you guys sit here and say, you know, put in the comments, like, w are you going to watch that candy-ass shit? I mean, w would you really sit through an entire uh, uh, episode or something of them discussing Will Smith's butthole, his butthole habits, and who who's up his butthole and what he puts in his butthole. Like, who the fuck wants to know about what Will Smith has up his ass? Who cares? The man makes good movies, and I'm, I'm going to be honest with you or whatever. I mean, you know, he's already been through enough shit that, uh, honestly, if that dude was any kind of friend, he wouldn't have put him through any more shit. So, nah, that man ain't his friend or whatever. I mean, you know, like, everybody knows the situation going on with Will. Everybody, you know, is always making videos and, you know, sharing their opinion. But at the end of the day, I mean, you know, what that man does in his personal life and how he handles his personal life is his personal business. You know, and it, it's really not any of ours and I do have to ask the question you know what is this guy's motivator behind doing such an interview through dragging that guy's name through through the mud other than getting his little five minutes of fame what what what's what's going on what's really going on like like why would you get your fat ass on on anybody's show to talk about Will Smith's asshole I mean something wrong with you I mean that you want you want to be famous that bad that you got to talk about buttholes and shit? I mean, you're being a butthole by talking about his butthole. I mean, you know, that, that's a lot of butthole shit. I mean, so I, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all what. I'm going to tell y'all what. 
because I mean I'm I'm sitting there like I said you know if, if it was me and I was Will Smith's assistant I would have had him flashy thing me I'd be like man we ain't even gotta have this conversation just flashy thing me Will and and so I wouldn't care if the man had a pen. As long as he pretend to flash the thing me, I can pretend to forget that shit, and we'd never ever discuss. We'd wrap it in a little box in on shelf, never ever talk about that shit again. So I'm gonna do the home audience a favor. I'm gonna do the whole uh, home audience a favor here, and I am going to slash the thing, you guys. So I want you to stare right into the little light thing on the flashy thing. I want you. I want you to look real close at that shit. Alright, real close. Alright, so, now, y'all did not see Will Smith trending on Twitter today. Y'all did not see people talking about his butthole all day long on Twitter. Stay off social media. Go for a walk. Order a pizza. Take your significant other out on a date. Like and subscribe to the channel. Matter of fact, get off the internet, but make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And then, turn your computer off or whatever device you're on. And go out and enjoy your life. Take care. Stay safe. Have a good one, everybody.